What's up everyone, welcome to your first tutorial in Photoshop. In these tutorials, I'm going to be teaching you every single thing that you wanted to know about Photoshop. I'm going to be starting with the very, very basics, and I'm going to be moving into some very advanced topics. Um, I'm going to try to give you as much detail as I can in these tutorials and tell you everything you need to know. So before I get started in Photoshop, before I get started working everything, let's just uh, get to know our way around Photoshop. So we have it open right now, and as you can see, to the left side of the screen right here, these are all the tools. And this is what we're going to be learning today. And you can either view them as a single row, or if you click this little two triangles right here, you can view them as a double row. At the top of your screen right here, you have the menu bar. Now this is just like any other menu bar in any other program. You have all your basic functions like save, open, new, copy, paste, as well as some other more advanced ones. We'll get into that more later. The right side of the screen you have what is called the palettes. Now th this is what makes Photoshop different than any other image editing program. These are for the mo more advanced topics and we'll get into these later on in the tutorials. And in the middle of course you have the image window. This is for the space for whatever image you're working on. And right now I opened up uh, this image right here just to uh, display what all the tools will do. So let's start. The first tool that we need is called the move tool. It's the very first tool and if we click it we can see what it does. The move tool does exactly like the name says. You can grab part now the next tool is called the marquee tool. Now anytime there's a little triangle next to the tool, it means that there's other tools along with it. To get to these tools, just highlight over your tool, click it, hold down, and you can see the rest of your tools. Now this one has an elliptical marquee and two other ones with it. But here's what the marquee tool does. On your image you can click and drag, and you now have a piece of your image you have selected. And there's a lot of different things you can do. You can paint inside this piece, or you can pick it up and move it. In the elliptical marquee, it does the same exact thing, except it's a circle shape instead of a square or a rectangle. The next tool we have is called the lasso tool. You can either click it or just click L, and this will take you to the lasso tool. Now, the lasso tool is a lot like the marquee tool in that you can make selections with it. So if you want to just make a freehand selection by scrolling around a piece of your image and letting go, you now have a selection that you can either paint inside or move or just move around. Since we know how to move, that's the only thing we know how to do right now. And you also have a polygonal lasso tool. And what this does is the exact same thing, make selections, but it makes it in the shape of a polygon. So as you can see, we now have a selection in the shape of a polygon that we can move around. And the last tool is called the magnetic lasso tool. What this does is attach to any similar, similar colors and keep on that selection as long as you keep your mouse over. Now make sure you don't stray to the side or it will pick up on some colors that you don't want. But for the most part, we don't really use that tool to make selections. We use some of the other ones. Now the next tool you're going to use is called the quick selection tool. Again, this is one other tool to make a selection. Say you wanted to select all this canyon right here, or this arc, whatever it is. So you would pick the quick selection tool, and copy all the similar colors. And now from here, you can do many things with it, such as move, like I said, it's the only thing we need to know how to do. So the other tool in that section is called the magic wand tool, and it's much like the same just picks the same colors that are related to that color and selects all the similar colors. Now the next tool on our toolbar is called the crop. And just like the name implies, if you want to crop your image and don't want the entire thing, then all you have to do is highlight, drag over whatever part of the image you want, and let go. And you now can crop your image. You can vary the size, vary the height and width, or you can even rotate it. And then when you're ready to crop, just press enter, and there you have your new image. And this last tool in this section is called the slice tool. That's for making web design programs, and we won't really talk about that as we're beginning. 
But that's all the time we have for right now. In the next topic, we'll cover the rest of the tools. And if you're not already there, you can go to www.thenewboston.com to see my tutorials and for to go over everything that we went over today. And I'll also give you step-by-step -step instructions. Thank you.